So, you've created something new in Confluence and you're ready to share it with your team. I'm Matt with K15T and I'm going to show you a few different ways you can share things in Confluence and when you might use each. If sharing is caring, then it's pretty easy to care for people in Confluence using this blue button in the upper right hand corner. This is a great option when you want to just share a piece of content with one or more teammates. They can get a notification on the content you want them to see and they can read it sort of at their leisure. So here I can mention one or more teammates that I want to be notified about this and I can include a meaningful message so they know what the content is that I'm sharing with them. When I hit send here, this will send a notification to them in Confluence, in their email inbox, and also in the Confluence mobile app so they can read it sort of wherever they are. There may be situations where you need people to do more than just look at the content you've shared with them, but they may actually need to take action like providing feedback or editing the content. So in that case, we recommend using at mentions in comments. You can highlight any text on a page and create a comment. Here, I'm going to at mention one of my colleagues, add a meaningful message and save that comment. This will send a notification to them wherever they look at their Confluence notifications. They can click that to jump right into the specific piece of content that not only you want them to look at, but also provide action on. And one quick tip here, always make sure that these comments are resolved at some point in the future to keep your pages neat and tidy. Whether you want people to just look at the content you shared or take action on it, it might be important to get it in front of them quickly. And that's when you might want to share a link to the page directly to them using a messaging app like Slack or Teams. This is great for teammates who use these apps synchronously. That means they're ready to respond almost instantly so you can have a conversation very, very quickly with them. It's not so great for teammates who use these apps asynchronously. So maybe only checking their messages once or twice a day. In this case, the other two approaches I mentioned probably work just as well. So let's say your teammates use their messaging app synchronously. You can grab the link out of the bar in your browser or you can use this blue share button right here in Confluence. Hit the copy link button and this will give you a slightly cuter or shorter URL that you can paste into your messaging app. Either one will work. Grab that link, put it in a message, at mention your teammates and giving them a message to tell them why you're sharing this with them. One other quick tip here is there is a great integration between Slack and Confluence or Teams and Confluence. Each one gives you nice features like being able to add Confluence comments to pages or even view the pages without leaving the apps. So I recommend you check those out. So I've talked about three different ways you can share content in Confluence and when you might want to share using the share button, an app mentioned in a comment, or by pasting a link into your messaging app. At K15T, we found there are great use cases for all of these methods, but we want to hear from you. Let us know in the comments below which method you like the best and why you think it's most effective for your team. Also, there's a lot of great ways to use Confluence. And at K15T, we always like to explore not just how Confluence works, but how to use it best. So please like and subscribe and tune in for even more content on how to get the best of Confluence.